Good evening, and welcome to another World of Warships video with Captain Darkwing Glacier. In this video, I am showcasing a replay recently sent to me by Frankenstein2014, who you may remember has fe been featured in a previous video showing his use of the Alsace in a ranked battle. Well, this time he is taking out the Tier 9 British battleship, the Lion. Now, I have not seen the Lion too much in the 11th season of ranked battles, and that's my, at least my guess is, is that the Lion is seen by most players to be a low skill HE spammer type ship. And uh, those players are idiots, because I think the Lion can be uh, much more useful than just as an HE spammer. But in any event, many players do see it that way, and I think that uh, explains their reluctance to take it out. I think they see it as weaker than many of the other ships. For example, the Missouri, which does have um, good uh, radar uh, that it can use. It doesn't have the hitting power of the Musashi, and it doesn't have the secondaries and brawling potential of either the Alsace or the uh, Friedrich de Grossa. So we're going to see how uh, Frankenstein plays the lion in this game if he's going to hang back and be an HE spammer or if he's going to get up a little more close and uh, try to deal some damage with his ship. Now the lion is excellent in terms of having um, a very good heal. That British uh, heal is, is excellent as, as long as you are able to use it um, quickly enough before you are completely destroyed. And uh, the fact that there are heals in this arms race battle will definitely be an advantage as it'll just you know give uh, the lion a little more staying power now i did say that the lion was rarely used this season or at least i've seen it less often than i've seen musashi's than i've seen um missouri's and the alsace jean bart and friedrich grossa all ships like that seem to be the primary ships that I've seen, and less likely is the less often is the Frigic the Great because it does seem to be less popular in general, just because it doesn't have as many guns as its older brother, the Grosser Kerr first, and that those guns aren't all that accurate. So, uh, so it and the line seem to be kind of the least popular choices, or at least so it seemed to me. Um, but I have taken out my own line a couple times with mixed success, so. I don't think it's necessarily bad, but I wouldn't necessarily use it as my first choice either. Um, so we'll see uh, what um, Frankenstein here can can do with it. So he's already taken his first shot and missed his target, which tends to happen at long range. He does have a spotter plane, though, and I'm kind of uh, confused as to why he's not using it now. He is detected, and it would definitely allow him to get uh, better aim. Now, I do have to admit uh, that I often forget to use my spotter plane as well, or frequently I do use it right at the beginning of the game, and then I forget it for the rest of the game because I'm not paying attention to its cooldown as much as, uh, as I should. So already the green team does have an advantage in that they did get the heal buff, and it doesn't look like the, uh, the red team has it yet. Their, their heal buff is there, and it's ready to be taken, but uh, no one's taken it yet, so that kind of gives you an indication that their cruisers either don't want to expose themselves or are not on this part of the map. And the enemy Frederick, the enemy Frederick the Great is moving towards the heel and trying to get it. And it has an Alsace right next to it, giving them some cover. But so far, the green team is entirely on the eastern side of the map, whereas the red team is more spread out. Frankenstein is slowing down, taking some cover behind this island, and looking to get perhaps some long shots against the Donskoy on the other side of the map. This would be a great time to launch the, spire, the spotter plane. So now he's accelerating after taking that shot, probably trying to get a flanking shot on the Frederick the Great and the Alsace, although this is kind of dangerous because if they're looking towards him, he could get... Uh, double broadsided by these guys, but fortunately the Frederick the Great does not appear to be looking at him. He's going to check out the Alsace, who's also not looking in the right direction, 
so that's good. He's able to advance a little bit further. Now the Alsace is turning his way. He was targeted by one enemy ship. And looks like the Alsace at least has some secondaries firing at him. He's now beginning to turn away from the Frederick the Great, who has maneuvered into secondary range. He still has HE, which is the right choice at this point, because he is uh, facing bow on against the Frederick the Great. Let's see if he can start some fires here. Yep, there we go, two fires. And it looks like the Frederick the Great did, did use his damage con. So wait 20 seconds. Fire that next salvo and set him on fire, and that one will stick. At this point, the Musashi and the Ibuki are awfully close to the enemy, and they may get in trouble for getting that close. Okay, now we've got full broadside. We do set one fire, which is good. At this point, I would switch to AP, and that is exactly what he's doing, because that Frigid the Great is showing lots of broadside. And he's already down below 50% health. Here we go, still showing, he's starting to angle away, so this may be less effective. But he does get his shots off. There we go, decent amount of damage, that's about 13,000 total. And he's still on fire, and it looks like he's using his heal at the same point, at the same time as uh, the far those fires are burning. Yeah, now his health is finally starting to climb back up. Another broadside, as good as the last one, and that'll finish him off. But again, he's even more angled at this point, so I doubt he's going to be able to kill him with this salvo, but he could bring him down below 10,000 at least. Eh, not quite. Just uh, one penetration and two ricochets, and I would probably switch back to HE at this point. And he gets chunked by, uh, look like the enemy Musashi fired at him. He's got his AP loaded and he's firing at the Alsace, who is somewhat angled. And there we go. Not bad. He's got about uh, 9,000 damage there. Now the Frederick the Great is very low on health and one salvo should be able to take him out. Huh. His teammates are telling him to shoot HE. And against the Frederick the Great, that would be the best choice, but he does have enough. Um, he could do enough damage with the AP to finish him off, considering how low the guy's health is now. He is switching to HE now after getting one more salvo off at the Alsace, which does 13,000 damage. Not bad. See, that's one thing that the players forget, is they, they recognize that the um, fire chance on the HE shells is very good, so they just say, well, I'm just going to stick with that for the whole game. But they just don't recognize that the AP is... Also very good on the Lion, on the Conqueror, and the Monarch too, so it's not something that should be ignored. If someone is showing you plenty of broadside, you should definitely take advantage of the AP power of these ships, and you can do serious amounts of damage. It's not all about fires. And they're de whereas fire is a damage over time um, ability, I guess that's the the right word, but it doesn't sound right when describing it with regards to a ship. Um, it is Damage over time is all well and good, but sometimes you just need to delete the ship and you need to do it now. So you need to uh, keep in mind when the best time to use each um, ammo type is most appropriate. So now at this point, his team is not doing so well. They are down two ships, and he is well overextended. And he does manage to finish off a ship with some of that damage over time stuff. So forget everything I said about using AP. Always use HE. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so the Masashi takes a nice long range shot. Actually, long range is more like medium range at 13.8 kilometers. But fortunately, the dispersion is terrible and completely misses him. So now he's going to focus on the Alsace at 12k. And sets a fire, just a little bit of damage. He takes, gets a big chunk taken out of him again from the uh, Musashi. And at this point, his team does not have an advantage here. They do, they are kind of circling this Alsace, who is going to go down. I was just about to predict that when he died. Um, 
and that's that's good, but they're kind of really isolated. The Iowa is just way the hell out of position. The Donskoy isn't is you know actually worse. The Musashi is too isolated, and he's got too many ships around him. And Frankenstein himself is also somewhat isolated, but he's not in quite as much danger as anyone else because he does have a clear shot against the Musashi, who is also being supported um, by the enemy. I can't read that very well. The Donskoy, I believe. No, not the Donskoy. Um, the enemy lion. Oh, I'm sorry. I totally misread that. The enemy Missouri. I was looking at the uh, the friendly ships rather than the enemy ships. I'm like, that doesn't look like a lion. The word's too long. Anyway, um, so he does take another chunk, and I would probably use my heal as soon as possible. It's just about to come off of cooldown. And there he goes. Wise move. He's already racked up more than 120,000 damage with one kill. And I expect him to get the high caliber award soon, which is one thing I've noticed in this ranked season with... Only six ships per side. If you're in a battleship and you get anywhere near, or any other ship that you get anywhere near 100k, you're going to get the high caliber award. Confederate is a little more difficult because you need to hit six ships for 20% of their damage, and there are only six ships on the enemy team. So, yep, <laughs> I called it high caliber award. He gets it for that shot of the Musashi. He's now at almost 139,000 damage. The friendly Musashi is... He... A little while ago, he told his team needs to push, and he just paid for that with his life. But he did get the Iowa to get out of cover. He got the Donskoy to come out of cover. And he got, well, I wouldn't say he got Frankenstein to come out of cover, but Frankenstein was going to advance anyway. And since that Musashi was showing plenty of broadside, he was able to take him out with a nice shot, doing uh, one Citadel and finishing him off. So just as his next target disappears off the screen, he gets another salvo off, which is enough to uh, reset the cap at least. Well, only one penetrating hit. And it looks like our uh, Musashi driver, the friendly Musashi driver, is complaining that he's, you know, basically, he's assuming that he's going to lose the game, but I wouldn't count out Frankenstein's team yet. It's uh, still three versus three, although they are down on points. Another 85k again, 8.5k against the Missouri. Donskoy is in trouble because he's being chased by both the Donskoy and the Ibuki. The Iowa is starting to close in. Hopefully he's going to be helping out uh, Frankenstein here, finishing off this Missouri. And he sets another fire, but he is very low on health, but he's slowly getting it that back up from the heal buff. And hopefully he's going to gain enough back to, uh, you know, not die to this Missouri. Who is definitely still looking at him and still firing AP, which is questionable. Even though the angling isn't perfect, but it's good enough to deflect many of those shells. And now he's exposing a lot of broadside, which is starting to get dangerous. I would be a little bit worried at this point. Now I'd probably be pointing a little more bow in. Yep, he's already turning, which is a good move on his part. He gets two more shots off. Another 4,200. He's still chunking him down slowly. I think this Missouri is doomed one way or the other. And now the Musashi driver is saying in chat, maybe we can actually win. And I think this is going to be the end for the Missouri. Come the two shots right into the guts of the ship. The Citadel destroyed. and kill number three. So 213,000 damage now. Frankenstein is definitely carrying the team. The Donskoy is still way out of position, but I guess he's you can cut him a little bit of slack since he's been kiting away from the enemy Donskoy and Abuki. The Iowa seems to kind of be just I don't know, looking good on the uh, on the field. I don't think he's yeah, he's lost almost zero health. He does a little bit of contribution here, doing, I don't know, maybe 5,000 damage to that Fire. Ibuki. Um, but uh, it's definitely 
uh, Frankenstein in The Lion here, who is doing the most contributions, but he's getting low on health, and I don't think he's going to be long for this world. He can't even heal too much back. Here comes a nice salvo that should get a... Whoa, there we go. <laughs> nice big uh, Citadel against the Ibuki. 22,000 damage. So the Iowa could potentially finish him off here, but I wouldn't count on it. I don't think he got pretty much anything there. All right, now Frankenstein's definitely in trouble. He is low on health. He is on fire. He's not going to be able to repair it. This salvo could get the kill, and it does. 11,000 damage. A Citadel. But I... Yep. I thought that was going to happen. He does not survive the return shot, and he wasn't going to survive that fire anyway. Um, so it's up to the Iowa and the Donskoy to finish off the enemy Donskoy. Yeah, and there we go. He just took some torpedoes into his sinking ship. So... Yeah, he was not going to survive that, but he definitely did his share getting four out of the six enemy ships. And now the Iowa, which is at full health, it's you know time for you to actually contribute to this game. And the Donskoy is still hiding behind an island, although he is firing, so you got to give him that. And hopefully between the two of them, they might be able to survive the four minutes remaining in the game and get the final kill. Our Musashi driver is still being a underwater admiral and giving advice, whereas the enemy team is complaining. He looks like his name is Captain Salt, is uh, living up to his name and telling uh, everyone to report his teammates. So there we go. We get a big hit on the Donskoy. Here comes another salvo, which should do a little bit more. And the Iowa is closing in, whereas everyone's telling him not to charge the Donskoy because he's going to get torped but with all, with all the health that the Iowa has, he would have to take I think all four or however many torpedoes the Donskoy actually has to uh, to die to them. So I don't think he's going to be in that much trouble even if he, get, even if he eats a bunch of torpedoes and it didn't matter anyway because finally the Iowa does make a good contribution and gets the final kill of the game but clearly it was Frankenstein who did the lion's share of the damage uh, getting the high caliber award, 252,000 damage, four kills, the Musashi, Frederick the Great, Missouri, and Ibuki. So an excellent game from Frankenstein. Uh, congratulations to him for uh, such an excellent game. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks very much for watching.